This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating dynamic air bronchograms and hepatization in a left lower lobe pneumonia. A curvilinear probe is used as delineated by the shape of the probe footprint at the top of the screen. Based on the structures we're seeing, the probe appears to be placed in a coronal orientation on the lateral aspect of the patient's chest wall, approximately in the mid-axillary line with the probe indicator directed towards the patient's head. Let's look at some important anatomy from superficial to deep. At the top of the screen, we can identify two ribs seen here with associated shadowing. Here, we can see a hyperechoic line moving in and out underneath this rib shadow, which is consistent with the diaphragm. The pleural line can be seen here. In a normal aerated lung, we would expect to see an A-line pattern, which will appear as a series of hyperechoic, equally spaced parallel lines coming down from the pleura. This is an artifact and does not represent actual lung tissue. However, in this image, we do see actual lung due to consolidation. Notice that this consolidation has an echo texture that is similar in appearance to liver, often described as hepatization of the lung. We can also see in this image hyperechoic structures moving to and fro as the patient breathes. These are consistent with dynamic air bronchograms. Both of these findings are mainly seen in lobar pneumonias. Lastly, Deep to all these structures, we can see a pulsatile structure, which is the aorta. Again, in normal lung, we should not see this due to the fact that air scatters ultrasound and obscures all imaging deep to it. However, because of the lung consolidation, we now have an acoustic window to view deeper structures.